This is your plain boring recycler view with no animation when rows are added. And this is your brand new recycler view where rows are added with animation like this. Beautiful. Alright, so let's get started and see how we can do this. So doing this is pretty simple. It's not complicated at all as it might seem. So there are only two steps. First, you need to create an animation in XML. That's pretty simple. And second, you just need to apply that animation to your view holder view in bind view holder. That is it. That is it guys. Practically that is just it. So let's start it. Let's get started. First of all, I'll uh, create a new animation resource file. Now if you don't have this anim directory, you can just go into your resources, right click and then create new resource file and then set resource type to uh, animation and your anim directory will automatically be created. So let's just call it slide in row. Okay, now since this is not an animation tutorial, I'll just be quickly making an animation that uh, slides in from right to left. Okay, so we go translate and from x delta 100% p to to x delta of 0 and duration is how much duration you want the animation to take right why am i not getting duration is don't we have duration here okay so let's just say that we'll let it take 200 millisecond right so this is in milliseconds guys so you know if you want one second then it is like this a thousand milliseconds equal to one second all right so we'll, uh, it should take 200 milliseconds right so this is it this is the animation that shows that moves our view from right to left okay so the rows will be moved from right to left and they are added as we have seen in the intro okay now the beautiful thing is you can make it anything you can make it like fade in or move in from left to right or explode or anything or zoom in or anything so you can add any kind of animation here we have added a simple sliding in from right to left now we just apply it to the view holder so let's go to our recycler view adapter right and First, yeah, first add this int last position equals to 1 equals to minus 1. Yeah, we will use this as this will store the last position that was displayed so that any position that is above this or any rows that are added after this uh, have that animation shown whenever they are added. Alright, so what do we do is Okay, so this is our pre-existing uh, recycler view. So, you know, don't worry about the code that's already here. Uh, basically, what you need to do is go to your bind view holder and wherever you are populating your data or wherever you are adding data uh, to your views, you know, uh, above that, write if view holder dot get current adapter position is greater than last position initially last position is minus one right so all the rows should show the animation and let's enclose this in braces if there is minus one what we do is first we load our animation right animation equals to animation utils dot load animation from why am i not Okay, load animation and pass the context here and our animation name and what else okay now you need to get the main item view from your holder so this is my item view holder name I just cast it first right and then get item view now, instead of this item view that is like that's the whole complete row you can just get specific portions of your view holder maybe just one image view or something else so that 
the view holder the uh, container will be shown regularly but the view inside will it will be animated but we don't want that we want the whole row to be sliding in so we just click our view holder dot item view select our item view and then go start animation and here you pass animation and now finally what we do is we need to change the last position to our current position that's all that's all you need to do guys so it's like just one animation file and then three other lines that's that much that's how much you need to do to show the animation so let's run it also guys if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon so that you're updated with all the tutorials and if this video helped you just hit a like it helps a lot okay so it is running now if we scroll as you can see rows are being slided from left to right all right cheers